Today we are releasing our ratings for five small passenger cars and our updated moderate overlap tests. This test now includes a small female dummy seated behind the driver. We evaluated five small cars in this round of testing. Two of those vehicles received an acceptable rating, the Honda Civic Sedan and the Toyota Corolla Sedan, and three of those vehicles received a poor rating, including the Kia Forte, the Subaru Crosstrek, and the Nissan Sentra. Submarining occurs when the lap belt slides up off the pelvis and into the abdominal region. This can result in more severe internal injuries. We observed submarining for the rear passenger dummy in all five of the vehicles tested. Our research has shown that restraint technologies utilized in the front seat are working well to protect front seat passengers. We have not fully integrated those same technologies into the rear seat, and it's time to do so to make sure we are protecting all occupants in the vehicle. The technologies we want to see added to rear seat belt systems include crash tensioners and force limiters. These two technologies combine to limit the forces to the chest during a frontal crash, which can help prevent injuries. Our updated ratings include an evaluation of the structure of the vehicle, the injury risk to both dummies included in the test, and how well the seat belts and airbags control movement of the dummies. Of the five vehicles we evaluated in this round of testing, three of them received a poor rating and two of them received an acceptable rating. The poor rated vehicles had higher injury risk to the rear seated passenger for the head and neck and chest regions. We want to be clear that the results from our updated moderate overlap test do not change our recommendation regarding where children should be seated in the vehicle. It is still the case that the rear seat is the safest place for children who are in car seats, in booster seats, and under the age of 13. We encourage automakers to respond quickly and add the technologies of crash tensioners and force limiters to rear seat belt systems. Longer term, we would like to see the automakers explore other ways to protect rear seated passengers, including use of airbags and changes in seat design. At IIHS, our goal is to continue raising the bar for vehicle safety. Our original moderate overlap test improved safety for front seat occupants. Our updated moderate overlap test is going to drive automakers to make additional safety improvements for all occupants in the vehicle. Thank <laughs> you. 